People keep saying to me, when are you going to retire? And in fact, they sound as though they want me to. No, they don't. <laughs> and it's not well, going to happen, is it ever? I don't think retiring is necessary. Um, I've been trying slowly over the years to slow things down a little bit. Right. Of course, the last two years, last two years were a dead stop. Yeah, and hideous. But you don't have to retire. And so, therefore, for instance, I'm going to go do a tour next year. Great. It's not a lengthy world tour. Mm -hmm. It'll be about 12 shows. Can I mention it now? Oh, I've yes. mentioned it now already. Mention it, mention it, mention it. Not only does my album come out today, mm. but um, on Monday the tickets are on sale for the public. Excellent. Oh, so and there's other things. There's, I, I can't <laughs> believe what they do these days. Apparently, you, the fans have got two days pre-sale tickets. Right. And they can buy their tickets Saturday and Sunday, tomorrow and Perfect. And, do you and know Sunday. what we'll do? We'll stick all of that in our website so that folks know. And you mentioned the album. I have to say, the front cover, you're looking very mean and moody, which is very good. Look at that. <laughs> That's rather lovely. I think it's the lighting. No, <laughs> you do look in great shape. I mean, considering what you've been through, and I know we've talked about that earlier on in the show and how what a nightmare it's been, you do look fantastic. But I know you work hard at keeping yourself in shape, play a lot of tennis, yeah. all that. But, you know, you, you have to have a motivation. And, you know, our industry, the motivation is that you know people are going to take pictures all the time. But you do look absolutely brilliant. You, well, you always thank have, you. though. Well, I mean, people always call you the Peter Pan of pop. I know, That's I can't it. live up to that, though. I, say, <laughs> I keep saying I'm, I'm definitely now the Rip Van Winkle of rock. The Rip Van Winkle of Rock will do. It'll do yeah. very nicely. <laughs> now, look, on this album, Just Fabulous Rock and Roll, it is, you do a duet, with, thanks to the miracle of technology, with Elvis Presley. It didn't happen in real true life, but it's happening now. And when I go to Australia, they'll say, oh, my sister thought you were fabulous. Me, I liked Elvis. Right. So there was always this Elvis yeah. and Clifford. It wasn't Elvis and Ricky Nelson or anything. So I thought, why not do an album mm. with, with Elvis? Yeah. And, you know... Both our audiences are dying, as we all are. Yes. And yet there's an audience there that don't dislike me. I love Elvis. But uh, she said, Priscilla said to me, well, if it was up to me, I'd, I would say yes. Mm. She said, Elvis knew all about you. And I went, me? She, he, she said, he keeps up with all his competition. Ah. Keeps an eye on all his competitions. So I thought, oh, my God, Elvis actually thought of me as competition. So anyway, I phoned Sony, who own all the rights to, to Elvis, and they said, look, we'll let you choose one song. Which one would you choose? I chose Blue Suede Shoes. And that's in the album? That's and the one that's in the album? I, I still play it. Not quite daily, but it's getting like that because I can't believe that... I, I listen to this record and it's me singing with Elvis, the, the guy that gave me my career. The, if there had been no Elvis, there would be no Cliff Richard. Really? You think that? You, oh, because yeah. I was totally influenced. Do you know what? I also believe they may not have been a Beatles either. Because although they started five years after The Shadows and I did, we were all the same age. So That's they right. would have been listening to Elvis, Ricky Nelson, Little Richard, Buddy Absolutely. Holly, the Isley Brothers, all of those people. And, uh, you know, I just got lucky. <laughs> I sang with Elvis, it's fantastic. Oh, it's, it's brilliant, it really is, and it's a wonderful thing and a great way to, to come back after all the, the horrors that, you, that you've been through. Now, what about making it even better and doing Glastonbury? Cliff is cool oh, and does Glastonbury. I've read, someone, I've read somewhere they said, oh, Cliff, Cliff would like to do... It's not that I, I, I would like to do it. It'd be great, I though. would be quite... If They've never asked me, of course they haven't. And if they asked, I would seriously think about it. Because, you know, when you do things, you've got to think about whether or not would you fit in there, would the people that go there like what you do I mean you know I'd, the last thing I want to do at this stage of my life is to do anything that might embarrass the fans or me so I would I don't definitely think that would though I think it would work really really well no maybe maybe it's maybe I could do it because I've noticed in the last recent years that Lionel Richie has done it absolutely uh, Dolly Parton has yes. done it our gorgeous Shirley Bassey did it exactly so maybe maybe there will be a spot but look if you if you if you're the uh, owners of the Glastonbury Festival Please feel free to ask, but I may not be available, and what's more, I'm not cheap. <laughs> That's one thing you could never, <laughs> never accuse you of being as cheap. <laughs> absolutely not, absolutely not. Is there anything, though, that you still... I mean, cos you've done everything. You've done everything. Is there anything yeah. left that you would love to do? Someone asked me this uh, just a short while ago, <clears throat> and I, could, I couldn't really think of an answer, but there is one, really. Yes. We, most of us, try to diverse, so I've done musicals on stage, I've done a stage, couple of stage plays, I've done things on television, I go, I've made records, I made films, I do concerts. What's there to do? Keep doing them until you get it right. Oh, okay. Because really, in a way, we never achieve the perfection we, ser we search for. Everybody wants to make... Yeah, I think Michael Jackson pretty well got to the most perfect Fabulous pop album, Thriller. Mm, I mean, yes. I, 
It's just fantastic. It and every singer would go, oh, yeah. what, wouldn't you kill to have those songs sure. and the production? And mind you, we can't all dance like him. Mm. But so you chase that kind of elusive perfection. And, uh, and so therefore I can still do things and want to do them and hopefully just improve a little bit, even if it's that much. But what a great, what a, well, what a brilliant ending to, the, to talking to you, Cliff. It's been amazing. Um, it's so, so wonderful to see you back where you belong. Good luck with the tour next year. Good luck with the album that's out now. And thank you for coming in this morning and talking to me. It's been a joy. My thank pleasure. You thank much. you. Thank you all. If you'd like to see even more great guests, then click here. There are plenty more fantastic interviews to come, so make sure that you subscribe.